Hey guys, I'm Ben, and uh, I'm gonna do a shaving video. So the reason why I wanna do a shaving video isn't because I don't think other people are doing it well. They're doing it really, really well, much better than I'm gonna be able to do it. It's just everybody brings a different perspective to the shaving game. So I just wanna show everybody what I do, and then uh, occasionally I'll do a video I'm not gonna be able to do them very often. My wife and I share one bathroom, um, and a lot of times we get ready at the same time. So if I'm able to do a video, I'll definitely do one. Um, but I definitely just wanted to get one out there and to go from there. So what I'm going to be using today is I'm going to use a scuttle to lather up some ADP right here. There you go. Um, I just got this on Friday. Um, I'll be honest with you. I, for some reason, I thought this was going to be uh, that triple X scent, but I guess that's Coloniali. I will say that this is really, really nice. Very, very soft scent. So if you're looking for something that you can wear pretty much every day and not have it interfere with cologne or it's going to be too strong and people aren't going to like it, this is really, really good, especially with the aftershave balm, uh, which I'll use at the end of it. Um, recently, I've been using the uh, Razor Rock um, the seasonal scent, their Blue Fougere, uh, which I just stuffed into a bowl that my wife got me, which is pretty awesome. Um, and with that, I've been using their talcum powder that they based it off of, the uh, um, Talco Felce Azura. I took off the front label because it was weird because I had like a naked baby on it and it's just strange to me. I don't want to look at that. Um, and I've been using talc a lot more often, especially on my face after the shave. And I found that it makes your face really, really soft and uh, does a really good job. So I also waited about four days to get a nice growth going on. Because um, there's a lot of videos I watch where people have it looks like a half a day worth of growth and then they're just like going at it and it looks like nothing uh, one thing i will do is i'm going to be brutally honest during this video so if i'm shaving and it doesn't feel good i'll let you know uh, if i get a nick i get a nick so i don't want to make a video where everything is absolutely perfect and hey look how great my shaving is and everybody should shave like me uh, sometimes i get really good shaves sometimes i don't get good shaves it is what it is so um, I'm going to be using the Razor Rock Plus Off brush, which is really, really good. Um, almost every single one of my brushes is synthetic. It's not that I just go out of my way to get synthetic. It's just that they're a lot cheaper. I do want to get a badger. I used to have a lot of badgers, um, but I got rid of them recently. Um, no real reason why. Just, you know, things come and go in ways. If you've been doing this for a while, you know that you come and go in phases. You like what you like, and then you want to change it up. Just been changing it up. Um, I'm... I guess I'll put some more hot water in here. And usually I'll, you know, put hot water back in here and then use soap to lather everything up. And it usually takes a little bit of time. The majority of time I am a face lather, just because I don't necessarily have a lot of time in the morning to bowl lather, but since I do this morning, I figured why not give it a go. So we'll put some of this in here. I think that is going to be absolutely plenty. We'll see. I've never bowl lathered with a cream. This will be the first time, so if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Um, one thing I will also do is I'll give feedback. So if the shave is feeling good, um, I'll kind of let you know what I'm doing so that it feels good. If I'm hitting rough spots, I'll let you know with that as well because uh, it may or may not go really really well today like i said four days uh, usually makes my face soften up a little bit um so you know after a while you kind of lose that resiliency in your skin from shaving if you go too long without shaving so it might be a fantastic shave it might be a really rough shave i add a little bit of water to this and then with the water i usually just put some on my brush you know just put it in here and go. That's one thing about bowl lathering is it's definitely a process, but I will say it's a lot more consistent. Um, so if you want a lather you can really control, bowl lathering is definitely the way to go. If you just want a lather, get it on your face. You can add some water. It might not be the best lather, but it's going to be you know pretty decent. Then face lathering works just fine as well. So this isn't lathering as well as my soaps do, but it's not bad. It's just not you know the greatest. And a lot of times with these scuttles, I found it just takes a little bit more time. I don't want to use a cup. I have some, you know, shaving mugs. But honestly, unless I put a rubber band around my brush, all you're going to hear is the tink tink the entire time when you're lathering. 
Um, and I don't like listening to it when I'm just lathering by myself. So I'm sure you don't want to listen to it at all either. A little bit more water and then I'm going to call that good enough. And we'll just go from there. Now the lather has kind of a, a nice little sheen to it. I'm just trying to get rid of some of the tiny little bubbles. And I found when I lather, I don't take my brush and push it in there really hard. What I do is I kind of let the tip of the brush swirl the top of the, uh, the lather. And that kind of, you know, forces it all to grow. And then I'll kind of get everything from the side, push it back down the center, use the tips again. And then when I want to add more water, I'll push it down in there. And then grab it all in the center. And then just do that. It takes a little bit of time, but like I said, it's pretty consistent, easy to control. And I got some decent peaks coming off of this. So I think that is going to be good enough. All right, so I'm gonna wet my face and then we'll get started with the shave. So it's cold in North Carolina. Um, the house water heater isn't that, or not North Carolina, I'm sorry, I used to live in North Carolina, um, Louisiana now. The house water heater is not that great. So sometimes it's difficult to make it get warm. So it's kind of a lukewarm thing right now. One thing I really like to do is uh, use pre-shave now. I never used to use pre-shave. And then I just started using, I don't think it makes a huge difference in my shave, but enough of a difference that I use it. Um, I use it different kinds of pre-shave a lot, but my favorite by far, honestly, is artist shaving. Um, I've used Paraso, I've used Mickey Lee Soapworks, I've used um, the Cube from um, Phoenix Artist and Accoutrements. Uh, just a whole bunch of different ones, but I just, I really like the Artist Shaving Oil. It, it's really good. Um, all I do, uh, honestly, after I wet my face, just rub it in. I'll get it all over my face first, and then I'll really just push it into the bristles against the grain and you'll see when I shave my neck against the grain is super weird and it just kind of grows everywhere um, there's no real uh, specific path I take to get rid of it all um, I know what feels good and what doesn't and I'll just kind of go from there I rarely do um, a, a baby butt smooth pass on my neck because if I do I'll get a lot of ingrown hairs you can kind of see them it just is what it is no matter how much I shave um, I, I get those and if I do one pass I'll get them if I do three passes I'll get them it just it kind of is what it is one thing that does help is something with my post shave which works a lot um, if I'm using a soap after I put on the oil I bloom my soaps I know a lot of people don't like it but I don't have a whole lot of soaps so it doesn't ruin it I mean I filled this up with that seasonal and you can already see the bottom so I use it really well I never had a problem with blooming but after I bloom it I'll pour that bloom water on my face and uh, use that. It's really, really slick because of all the soap properties. And it's kind of a really good secondary uh, lather. So now that this is on here, I'll go ahead and start lathering. And the same thing with the oil. When I'm lathering, I'll put it all over my face first and then I'll just kind of spread it out. I do like lathering after I haven't shaved for a few days because uh, you can really work it into the bristles of your facial hair. It's really, really, really nice. Um, even after I bowl lather, if I just don't like it, the, the lather specifically, I'll just add a little bit more water. I'll do the Geo Face Boy, or Geo Fat Boy uh, figure eight on the face, which in my opinion is really, really good for moving that water around throughout the entire lather. And then for me, when I'm doing the lather, there's two things I look for before I start shaving. One is you know consistency the lather all over the face um is it smooth are there any bubbles i don't want that on there and then two i'll kind of angle my face and look at the light and i'm looking for a sheen on my lather um when i watch videos and people are lathering sometimes they take a really really long time lathering i just don't have patience for it and then a lot of times too it looks like they have this just amazing lather all over their face um so i just want to be honest about that as well so my lather is, it's good, don't get me wrong, um, but you can still see the bristles coming out. This Aqua de Parma is really, really nice. It does lather very, very easily, but uh, we'll just get into it. So first pass is gonna be with the grain. I'm using a uh, Colonial General, I think is what it's called. Uh, single edge, I, the only single edge blade I can use is the uh, Feather Pro Guard. I've done a bunch of different kinds of blades 
And this is the only one that really doesn't tear my face up too badly. Um, it's not that double-edged razor is giving me a bad shave. I, I've had one that I've used since I started shaving back in 2013, uh, wet shaving that is. Um, and that gives me the best shave. I've had a whole bunch of different kind of DEs, but single edge has worked really well. I also have an above the tie single edge. Um, that one's just a little too aggressive for me. So my facial hair, it's not more thick than anybody else's facial hair. Uh, it's just really, really coarse. So single edges help get through that, but that, uh, that single edge one from above the tie is just super aggressive. And if I'm not really, really careful, it will definitely tear my face up. So with single edges, um, there's some hot spots on my face where I know I'm going to feel it, especially after the first pass because it's kind of digging through all that stuff. Uh, the corners of my chin, the corners of my lip, and this side of my neck are my sensitive spots when I shave. Oh, and when I go against the grain, you'll see like along my jawline right here is really, really sensitive. So. Uh, when they, you go on the forums and you say, hey, what is one thing I should watch out for? And people say, you know, technique, technique, technique. They are not wrong. Uh, technique is definitely king when it comes to stuff like this. And I just have to remind myself still to go really, really light touch because if I go too hard, uh, I feel it. I almost feel like a preliminary burn um, with all that stuff. So line this up there you go you can kind of hear the feedback it's pretty good and I'm remembering to go really really light touch and I felt it tug a little bit right there it's just that's a lot of hair so it, it makes sense that we do that and the water is cold in the sink so I'm going to warm this water up, let it run a little bit. I'm sorry about the water noise, but uh, I don't want to have an uncomfortable shave, honestly. Uh, this is where it's going to tug a lot on my chin. My chin's really, really uh, thick when it comes to the hair. Oh, that's cold. Okay. And I try to, I go really, really soft. I try to stretch the skin a little bit. Not like I'm shaving with a straight, obviously, but enough so I don't have to push at all. And then just to kind of help a little bit, I almost do an across the grain pass right here. Um, like I said, it's just I'm not trying to get all of it. I'm just progressively wear it down. But I found if I don't do that, my second pass is a little rough in that area. So far so good, the water's starting to warm up a little bit. And you see I kind of go at an angle on my neck like this, and then just straight up. And that's not a 100% growth of my facial hair pass, it's just that's the Path of least resistance. That's not going to cause a lot of irritation. I don't know why I did not put my brush back in that lather when I was done. Because I'm used to lathering on my face, that's why. Now, this is a, this is a good first pass, especially for four days of growth. I think that water will be nice and warmed up for a little bit, so we'll lather up for pass two. And you'll see when I shave, I do some weird passes. It almost seems like I do more passes than you know I should do, but once again, your mileage may vary, and this is what I found over the course of coming up on five years. That works really well. Um, I don't know if you can see the lather, but it's a little bit thinner than the last one. So when it does that, you know, I'll push the lather everywhere, and then I'll kind of scoop on the sides there so I get more in that one area and then I'll just kind of push that around for extra protection. Um, I found that Soap Commander does this too. We have a really really good lather on your first pass, a little bit thinner on your second pass, and then third pass sometimes I'll have to pull it out of the brush and put it on um, or I'll just re-lather if I don't mind making a mess. Um, soap Commander, not, nothing against them, it's fantastic soap. I've had a bunch of their soaps 
Um, it's just the way I lather. Um, it, it, that's what happens when I use it. So we'll go into pass two. I'm not trying to make my sideburn super neat because I'm getting a haircut after this is done anyway. And now you'll see I kind of go at a little bit of an angle on my chin. And when I do that right there, um, that's where I start to feel it on that really sensitive spot on my chin. It doesn't hurt, but you know, I, can, I can feel it. Not like I couldn't feel the rest of this anyway. I'm hoping that you understand what I'm trying to say. There you go. And then for like this part of my chin, instead of trying to cut really angular, I'll kind of flatten my chin out and do that. And that works pretty well. So I can still kind of just go at this portion of my uh, corner of my lips and my mustache area and my chin and I don't really have to worry about too much like cutting. Uh, this is a fresh blade and so far it's doing very, very, very well. When I do my upper lip, I progressively change the angle more and more upward. Um, if I just go, you know, one, two, three, it, it, there's a lot of irritation, so I kind of have to progressively change the angle to really get those hairs. Alright. So far, so good. Yeah, going back to that technique, um, that first razor I used, it's uh, the uh, Dreadnought Spartan, which I believe is a variant of the Edwin Jagger DE89. Super mild razor, and you can put some pressure on it. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, you get good shades, but you also develop some bad habits. So when I picked up a single edge razor, uh, needless to say, it just kind of tore me up. Uh, and I think with the bow the tie, it's not that it's a bad razor, it's a fantastic one. It's just, I still don't have the discipline not to put some pressure on. So this uh, general is really nice because it's aluminum and not stainless steel. So it's lighter. I can put some uh, more pressure on there. And you can see I have uh, some bumps on my neck and that's just from letting facial hair grow out. Um, when my facial hair grows, it doesn't grow straight out. Um, it almost grows at an angle under my skin. So I almost have skin covering half of the facial hair before it comes out. So I get ingrown hairs pretty easily. But it's nothing out of control. Now it was out of control when I shaved with uh, like a Gillette fusion style razor and I had to shave every single day uh, which is what made me search for a better way to shave that's how I came across this and honestly uh, I just I haven't turned back the only time I go back to a traditional style razor like that well traditional uh, that's loosely used is if I'm out in uh, the woods and I do need to shave quickly I use some disposable Gillette's and uh, I'd only go with the grain and very, very softly across the grain. I never do against the grain with those styles or else it will absolutely destroy my face. And then I'll use uh, either some like Cremo type tube cream, um, you know, something like that. And it provides a little bit more protection than the canned stuff. This has a, uh, what's the best way to describe this scent? It's kind of like a powdery scent. Um, when I say very light, very light, this stuff might as well be unscented. And I will admit I don't have the best sense of smell, but yeah, it is super, super light, which is going to be really nice, you know, if I'm going to the gym and I don't want to overpower people with aftershave or anything like that, this is going to be fantastic. And so far it's performing really, really well. I don't have any irritation yet. Um, I can feel a little bit of, I don't want to say irritation, but you know, the, you may have pushed a little too hard. You kind of feel that after pass on your skin. Feel a little bit right there, so I'll go carefully when I do across the grain or against the grain. So against the grain here, um, I'm, a lot of people will hate the way I do my jawline because it seems like I do a, a lot of passes. I found that if I just do one, it's not enough. If I go try different directions with what I've tried, it's, it's not enough. The way it grows, it's almost like the hair just kind of picks its own direction. So I kind of have to hit different angles to get a good shape. Um, I'm doing a three pass today because it's the first video kind of 
not socially accepted. If you do a first video and you don't do three passes, come on, man. So I figured I'd get in there, do three passes. Usually when I don't have to go to work, I'll just do two passes just to reduce, you know, irritation and stuff like that. So when I do it, uh, I use different parts of this razor. So when I hit this part, I'll use the top half of the razor and then the middle and then the bottom. So I try to use all the razor when I'm shaving. And I'm going very, very gently right here. And then I'll go kind of up to clean it and then I'll kind of go this way to clean it. And then I'll go straight across. That wasn't bad at all. Not bad at all. Um, when I do against the grain here, I'll go up first and then I kind of come at an angle like this because once again it just grows in every direction imaginable. So far not bad. I'm going to let that run again a little bit because the water is starting to get cool again. And for an against the grain pass, I like that blade nice and warm so it kind of cuts through the hair. Uh, I've tried cold water shaving. Um, I got really poor results with it. Um, even if I do the same exact motion, same exact movement, it just does not cut as well as when I heat this blade up and do a, uh, a hot water shave. And uh, honestly, the hot water really does soften up my hair a little bit more. Yeah, that's not bad at all. So far, so good. So there's a spot right there on my chin that it, there's a little bump that just comes up repeatedly and if I'm gonna cut myself or nick myself it's gonna be there it's gonna be right there and right there those are my three hot spots so I slow down a lot when I hit those areas just because I know that those are the spots that if I'm gonna get cut it's gonna have them there <laughs> and uh, right there, that pass I just did, really weird pass for me. So this, this side I do it, I can just go straight up, it's not a big deal. This side I kind of have to blade buff all the way up, because if I do one it just kind of bounces around. I like guess just the way the, the hair is pointing out there, it just kind of is what it is. When I do it against the grain, you'll see that I don't just do swipes, it doesn't work very well for me. I kind of blade buff my way all the way around, um, and that works really, really well. Another thing about single edge, double edge give me great shaves, don't get me wrong. These things give me really close shaves. Um, and uh, I know a lot of people will say, well, you can get an even closer shave with a straight edge. Um, and I've gotten some really, really close shaves with a straight edge. I'm just not good with a straight edge. And if I shave with one and I do go against the grain with it, yeah, I'll have really close, especially here and on my mustache area. But uh, I can't shave again for you know two days because my skin gets so irritated. And I know it just takes practice. It's gonna take some time, and they will give me really good shaves. But uh, I'm just not there yet. I don't have the time to consistently shave with one of those. And uh, during the weekday, I have to get a very smooth shave. So if I used one of those, my next two or three shaves would just be really uncomfortable. I just don't want to put up with that. And when I get my little patch area right here, I have this like little groove. You can see some soap building up in there. And I'll just stretch that out and hit that again just to get everything out of there. So you'll see the mustache. I'll kind of ang work the angle so I get all of that stuff. I'm gonna make sure my hand's not blocking everything. And then if, uh, it's not feeling really good, I'll just wet the blade again, you know, because it's wet shaving, and that helps out a lot. Um, one thing that I don't like about creams, that I do really like about soaps, is the residual slickness on cream just is not as good, and I don't like the lather on my neck, so I'm gonna fix that a little bit. That's better. I get a much better residual slickness with soaps. But creams are fast, they are really effective, and I'll be honest with you, I know a lot of people really do not like art of shaving, and I think it's just because they want something to hate. Um, it represents the commercialized version of shaving, which is what a lot of people are getting away of 
but yeah, I understand that. Our shavings are really good stuff. Uh, their, their creams are fantastic. The only creams that I've found that come pretty close is uh, St. James of London it has amazing creams and they smell fantastic. When it comes to scents, I definitely like St. James of London more. Let's see, I just kind of blade buff a little bit. And I won't really go more than that or else I'm gonna to start to get a lot of irritation. Um, St. James of London has amazing scents and their performance is really good. But, I mean, you know how it is. I, I don't have any right now. I've used uh, the black, what is it? Is sandalwood and bergamot? Something like that. Uh, that was fantastic. Uh, I really like sandalwood type scents, which you'll see with the cologne that I use. Um, but, I mean, I have DR Harris, and that cream, it says, oh, this is a shaving cream. If I dip my brush into a shaving cream, you'll see shaving cream comes out onto the brush. That stuff is hard. It doesn't do that. It's nowhere near as hard as a triple milk soap, obviously, but I don't call it a cream. My Razor Rock seasonal soap, soap or croak, is a lot softer than that Arlington or DR Harris cream. Uh, I definitely use alum. So this is something I picked back up about a month ago. I never used alum, and the reason is when I first started shaving, I got the Taylor of Old Bond Street alum because the kit that I bought off of Amazon had Taylor of Old Bond Street and that was one of those well people also bought so I grabbed one of those and maybe it was the one that's supposed to be used on your armpit but it when I say it irritated my face it was bad really really bad my face was completely inflamed red I was taking like motion to reduce the swelling because it was so bad I thought oh, maybe I'm doing something wrong um, so I didn't use it for a long, long time. Um, my, I got my wife into shaving her legs with a DE, and she picked some of that up from Maggard. Um, she loves Maggard, and it was on sale for like 99 cents. So she's like, okay, why not? I'll grab it. She never used it was going to throw it away. So I said, well, let me just try it one more time. Um, and that was about a month ago. I've been using it every single shave. It's, it's fantastic. And it definitely is a piano teacher. It'll let you know exactly where you messed up. So... I feel a little bit of burn right there, uh, a little bit right there. Other than that, not too much. Um, yeah, if you get a really bad shave, you'll know. It's not like, oh, this is terrible, but you feel that burn on your face. Um, and I don't put stuff on over it. I'll let it sit here for a little bit, and I'll usually like clean up brushes or clean out my, uh, my bowl or something like that um, as I let it sit on here. But I... I it's not that I get bad reactions if I leave it on, honestly. It's because I haven't left it on yet. Um, I just don't know if I'm willing to risk having irritation all day, especially when I put some balm over it. So I'm going to rinse this stuff off. And then that is it for the water portion until I start cleaning everything up. Um, don't worry, I'm wearing shorts and stuff on underneath this. I usually don't, but I think it'd be super inappropriate not to um, when they dry my face off you know I pat my face I don't rub it dry or anything like that and then usually after I wash off the alum I will use an aftershave splash I like how the alcohol has an extra cleaning factor but I don't really have a splash that is gonna match my cologne and match the aftershave balm which is right here um, so I'm just gonna use the balm the only gripe I have against the Aqua de Parma bomb container is it's like a splash container. So you kind of have to work hard to get it out of there. And then it kind of just goes everywhere. So yeah, I have to wipe it off and then clean it, make sure it doesn't get all over the bottle. And I don't use a whole lot, but I do use enough to also uh, get the back of my neck and on my nose right here, especially during the winter time. Um, because it does get dry in that area. It gets dry. I use balms during the summer as well. Uh, I found that my skin dries out very, 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 very quickly. And if I don't use a balm, I get like dry patches all over my face. And then the next day, it's, uh, it's even worse of a shave because you're shaving against dry skin um, instead of wet skin, moisturized skin. 
So my usual thing is I'll put on a splash, I'll let that sit on there for 15, 20 seconds, and I'll put some balm on over it. Um, I'm one of those guys that tries to match balms and splashes um, as much as possible. Not necessarily soaps, because the soap strength isn't all that strong, but I won't use like a sandalwood soap and then try to put on some fine platinum just because it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Uh, so, Aqua de Parma today. The cream, the aftershave balm, the cream did pretty well. It lathered fairly easily. Definitely not as much left over as when I lather in a bowl with my, uh, my soaps, but not bad at all. And then I'll wait for the balm to kind of soak in a little bit, get into my pores, get into my skin, dry off a little, and then I'll take some talc. And not a whole lot either. Just squeeze some into my hand like this much, push them together, and then just kind of push it all of my face. And I will say that, like I said, it feels really, really nice because it makes your face really, really soft. And uh, I don't know if he still has some left. And if you haven't picked up the uh, the Blue Fougier by Razor Rock, I highly recommend it. It is a very, very nice scent. I don't want to throw around the term Christmas in Tuscany. If you remember that seasonal that he made a few years ago. But whenever I put on that soap and that aftershave and then I use this, there's like a little bit of Christmas in Tuscany that I smell in there. Um, and we've all made mistakes when it comes to buying and selling stuff. I will definitely admit that a mistake that I made was selling that uh, Christmas in Tuscany because I still had a whole bunch of that block left. I don't know why I sold it. It was one of those, it was one of those shaving mistakes is what it is. Um, so first um, shave done on the General with a Feather Pro Guard. Showed you the cream, showed you the aftershave. Once again, the Razor Rock Plus Soft did very, very well. I used a uh, Phoenix Artist and Accoutrement or Crown King Scuttle, which is the only scuttle I have and I really, really like it. Used some Art of Shaving Pre-Shave and the um, Felce Azura Aftershave Talc from Italy. And then to top it all off, uh, the cologne I'm going to be using today is Creed Viking. I just got this on Friday, and uh, I gotta say, I love this scent. Um, I have Green Irish Tweed, which my daughter loves. I have Aventus, which my wife and I really like too. Uh, Aventus is really good. Um, but I've always wanted to try Viking as soon as I start seeing uh, reviews and it popping up on fees and stuff like that. I'm a huge Creed fan. Creed and Penn Halligans I love. And I went, or well, we all went to Houston on Friday. And the phone's ringing. Okay, whatever. Uh, went to Houston on Friday and usually they had it like Saks Fifth Avenue. So we went in there. They had a whole bunch of Penn Halligan stuff, but no Creed. And they were very hesitant to point me to another area, obviously, because they're trying to make a sale. But one of the ladies there was really, really nice, fantastic, uh, very knowledgeable, very polite. And she let us know that, hey, um, uh, Neiman Marcus, I think is the place of it, has that stuff. So we went over there, they did, um, smelled that, and fell in love with it immediately. I really, really like it. Uh, went to church the other day uh, with it on, yesterday with it on, and people were asking what it was, if uh, they can get the sample. So I have some of those small, like a Creed, a uh, little sample thing, so I'm going to empty those out, wash them, put some of that in there for them. It's, it's a fantastic scent, and it stays all day long. I smelled it on my shirt uh, the next morning, and it was like 20 hours later, and it works really, really well. Obviously, it's Creed. It's pricey. It's much more pricey than their other colognes, but uh, this is one of those purchases where I don't buy cologne very often. Uh, it lasts a while with me, so... I figured why not um, and like I said I really like it smells fantastic uh, really good shave you can kind of see the post shave results really smooth I'm really happy with it I can't complain at all I hope you all have a fantastic new year like I said I'm gonna do as many videos as I can I'm not gonna be as consistent as a lot of other people because I do share a bathroom and uh, it'll be weird if I'm in here talking to myself um, you know and everybody else is home so I'll do them as I can. Um, new stuff comes out or stuff that I want to use that I want to talk about. 
and I'll put that on there. But uh, if you guys have any questions, you know, just put them down in the comments. I'll answer as much as I can. I'm, I don't hover on YouTube all day, but I'll answer them in a timely manner. Um, and then if you want to, you know, see a specific thing or a different kind of blade or my thoughts on razors and cranes and stuff like that, just let me know. Have a fantastic day, guys, and a fantastic week. Take care.